first game goes the Kentucky Bourbon versus the Milwaukee Schlitz. What was Schlitz? Well, of course, it was the beer that made Milwaukee famous. That was what they told us all the time. Tonight's game is brought to you by Anheuser-Busch Incorporated of St. Louis. The Anheuser-Busch people said, what happened to our beer exclusive? And then somebody in the room said, uh, it doesn't really matter. Nobody's watching anyhow. We're just about to get underway with game number one in the World Series of American Professional Slow Pitch Softball. The Milwaukee Schlitz and the Kentucky Bourbons. <laughs> two teams, two alcoholic beverages that don't mix well together. It was fierce. You know, there's a lot of chirping back and forth at each other. They all had that little arrogant thing to them. I expect that out of Weed Runner. <laughs> uh, we, we did have an arrogance about us. Well, we were a bunch of beer drinking fat old slobs because we were from Milwaukee. Most people call us rednecks. I may have said that. Yes. I did an interview with a, a local reporter. Used as a term of endearment, though. Yeah, we are from Kentucky. <laughs> Milwaukee's about to take the field. Rick, you personally occupy a very special place in television history. We're underway with the first pitch of the game. It's a call strike. Your first pitch in game one is the first athletic thing anyone ever did on ESPN. Now that you say it that way, <laughs> it, uh, I go, wow, look what I started. <laughs> Here's Don Reardon. Shot into left center, that's gonna drop for a base hit. Somebody told me it was the first base hit ever on ESPN. I wish they'd give me a car or something for that award. But <laughs> And the first home run. He drives that one. He's going, Joe. Back to the fence. He is. It's a softball. They threw it under him. We're, we're supposed to hit home runs. You also had the first error on ESPN. Thanks. You had to go there. Down the first base line. Picked up there by Grazer. Has double to find the handle. Game one. First game ever on ESPN. I got shelled. <laughs> Rick's a little upset, but <laughs> drives this one down the third base line. Reared up with it, long throw, got him. In the first game ever on ESPN, Kentucky Bourbons defeated the Milwaukee Schlitz. 15 to 5. I, I thought we hit the hell out of it and beat them up pretty good. Hey, I'm proud as hell. You're proud as hell to, that you represented our state and our city and in pro softball, and I think we put a hell of a product out there. <laughs> the Bourbons may have won ESPN's game one. But the Schlitz would soon have their revenge. Greg is one for three tonight. Tries to go up the middle. Weiderman cuts that off. Throws to first for the out on Whitlock. Throw to third. Dave Whitlock is out. Trying to go to third. And Milwaukee out in the middle of the diamond right now. A very happy group of softball players. They have won the world championship of the American Professional Sulfate Softball League. The Milwaukee Schlitz won the best of nine series, five games to three. They were crowned the 1979 Slow Pitch World Series champions. It was great because we won on their field. Winning on their field, anybody will tell you, it tastes a lot better when you do it that way. The beer tastes a lot better too. <laughs> To me, it meant everything because we're the Milwaukee Schlitz with guys that were from Milwaukee. This is the whole team from 40 years ago. Just sign a ball. So I got a ball from 
40 years old that they already signed. Now I'll have one, another one. They'll make two. We just wanted to beat them. We didn't care. We wanted to show that us little guys here from Milwaukee can play some ball. For 40 years, ESPN has broadcast some of the biggest sporting events on the planet. But it still all began at a ball field in Lannan, Wisconsin. I think those guys should be proud. They were the first live thing that we did. And I hope every one of them had at least a hit that night. Undisclosed amount, he sold them back. He had bought them for $750. While a tape may sit on a shelf seemingly invaluable, I've answered the question this way, which is it has no value until it does. 